We have many choices when it comes to how we want to share a PowerPoint presentation. We can use a variety of methods to provide the actual file or links to it for others. We can go to the other end of the spectrum and provide copies of slides on a hard copy paper printout. The true beauty of PowerPoint is lost, though, in the last option, because PowerPoint is intended to be a live visual experience. Another way to share a presentation is to make it available on a CD or DVD. This can be given to someone like a packet of paper could, but now we have the ability for them to enjoy it in its original form. Don't worry, all they'll need is a computer. They don't even need to know how to use PowerPoint or have the software on their computer. To accomplish this, though, we can't just copy the presentation file. That would require them to have and use PowerPoint. Instead, we want to use the Package Presentation for CD option. This can be found in the Backstage by accessing the File tab and choosing the Export option. When we choose Package Presentation for CD, we see on the right-hand side that we're going to get some instructions as well as telling us what it's going to do. It's going to include all of the linked or embedded items such as videos, sounds, and fonts, so that makes us feel better. It's also going to have what they call any other files added to the package. That means that we can include supplemental information. So let's go ahead and click or tap the Package for CD option and run through the wizard. The first thing we need to do is give our CD a name. Now, you probably won't be surprised, we're going to call ours Niagara Falls. Next, it wants to know what files we want to copy. And of course, it does include the currently open PowerPoint presentation. But we can add additional files. We'll go ahead and click on Add and make sure that we're in our Working Files Chapter 16 folder. We want to give our viewers a couple pieces of supplemental information. We have another file called the Travel Budget, and we also have another file that's a spreadsheet. But be aware that initially it's only looking for presentations and shows. If we want to see all of the files at once, then we need to change it to all files at the bottom. And now we can see all of the ones that we're looking for. Now we'll select our travel budget as well as our revenues. And we'll go ahead and click or tap add on the bottom right. So now we're going to include three different files, two PowerPoints and one Excel spreadsheet. Don't get too anxious though, we also need to take a look at the Options button on the right-hand side. This has some very interesting and important choices. Do we want to include linked files? And do we want to embed true type fonts? Well, we know that in this presentation, we have a linked video. We need to include all of the linked information, as well as the spreadsheet that's used as a chart. So we wanna be sure that that is selected. We also typically want to embed all of our fonts so that the look and feel of our design doesn't change simply based on what somebody may have installed or not installed on their computer. We can at this point include a password to open the presentation and or a password to modify or edit the presentation. We don't care to protect this one, so we're going to leave those blank. PowerPoint will go through and inspect our presentation for inappropriate or private metadata. We've already done that with ours, so we're not going to check that box as it will just take a little bit of extra time. Once we've checked all of these, we can click or tap OK. And now we have one final choice to make. Do we want to actually copy this to a folder on our hard drive or on our network or copy it directly to a CD? If we only want to make one CD, we could copy it directly. We're not going to do that. And because we want to reuse this, we're going to say copy it to a folder. The folder name is going to be not only Niagara Falls, but Niagara Falls CD package, so it's easily identifiable on our system. Being descriptive is usually better. We're also going to browse and make sure that we put it where we can find it. And for our purposes here, we're going to go ahead and just put that on the desktop. I always like to see things when they're finished, just to verify that they all happen, so we'll leave the open folder when complete checked. Then with a click or tap on OK, and after it gives us just one more warning about being sure we link information, we'll click or tap yes, and we'll simply wait for PowerPoint to do its thing. Since we told it to do so, once it's finished, it's going to open our folder. We can see what that is, as well as all of the content that's packed into it. Now remember, it may not look very useful here, but when we burn this to a CD and somebody puts that CD into their computer, it's going to autoplay. It's going to open up and give them options to look at the presentations or to open the spreadsheet in this case. It all works very, very well. And now we have access to that by simply burning the CD from the folder that we saved to our desktop. This option is not only a really good way to share the presentation itself, 
but to get a little bit creative with what we can do with PowerPoint beyond the typical stuff. It's a fabulous way to make a marketing package for your company. It can be used by HR to share with potential employees to let them know about the company and the area with which you want them to relocate. It certainly can be used to distribute copies of pictures from family gatherings or holidays that you've put together into a digital scrapbook, probably even with multimedia to add to the mood. By using the package for CD options, we can truly share our presentations with everyone by giving them a self-contained copy that they can enjoy time and time again on their own from their very own CD or DVD.